quick tip for all the ProScale readout users that have this on a vertical panel saw. If you have it on the vertical axis or the vertical measurement, then you can use kerf compensating ability built into the digital readout. So let's say I've just loaded a panel up on my machine. I move the carriage down a little bit. I lock the carriage in place. I make a squaring cut or a cleanup cut. And now I want to compensate for my kerf as I move the carriage further down. So the way to do that is you're going to press and hold the absolute incremental key for three or four seconds to put the display in incremental mode. And then you key in the value for your kerf. In my case, eighth of an inch or 125 thousandths. I use the plus and the minus keys to get that dialed into the readout. 125 thousandths. You press the incremental key, a quick press and release once, and it's saved. So now, as I unlock my carriage and I move the gantry down, you notice it counts to zero and then starts counting down below zero. So let's say that I wanted a four inch off cut here. Get the carriage to where the display shows four inches. I lock the carriage in place, make my cut. And then I come back, I want to do the same thing again. So just a quick press of the incremental key, it presets to positive 125. You start moving the carriage down, it goes down to zero, and then comes back down. Move the carriage down until we get to exactly four inches. It's easier and said than done. Okay, make our cut. We come back and we want to repeat it again. You press the incremental key. Count down to zero as we move the carriage down. Count down to that four inch off cut that we want. And you can do this as many times as you want. When you're done, you can press and hold the ABS incremental key and the display will show the absolute distance now from your bottom fence. In this case, 35 inches.